We are now nearing the end of finishing our item because we are now on the rigging stage. I know you hear this a lot and maybe you might be thinking if we even need this rigging thing because we can usually submit items without this. But have you ever had an item that is kept being rejected by Zepeto all the time no matter how many times you submit it? If yes, then rigging plays a big role in it. What is rigging in the first place? In Zapata context, this is the stage where we will use the armature that was provided in the creator base set so that we can control the mask to do several poses and gestures and see what our item will look like. This is so we can check if our item has deformations on specific parts. Zepeto now has become more diverse to different body sizes and just like in real life, we cannot guarantee that all Zepeto users with different body sizes will fit your item without having holes or without having any problem when they move, especially in world and photo booth where our avatar moves so much and how can we take nice pictures if our item is bad, right? To visualize, allow me to show you an example of a dress that is not rigged and no weights included as compared to a rigged one with weights. Adjusting the weights in Blender can be done through the Weight Paint tab. Remember, we should use the mask in the Creator Base set for rigging because the Creator Base set already has weights and bones which were provided by Zepeto already. You won't be able to have this in the normal mask in the 3D mask object. The colors that you see now are called the weights. For the hip scale bone, as you can see here in the object data properties, this colored part here is the part of the mask that it affects. The red weights indicate the most influence and the least influence by the color blue. We need to adjust these weights when we will transfer it to our item to fit and smoothen it more. To remind you, you will not see the effect of rigging and its weights if your model is in a rest position only. You need to move around the armature to move the model and your item as well. The brushes that we will use are found here. Here in the draw brush, change the brush to add so we can add weights or influence and subtract to remove them. So most of the time, we will be switching between the two as we go on in weight painting. For the blur brush, this will be used on smoothing out the edges on the weights so that we can have less blocky and sharp outputs. That's all we need to know about the concepts. To further understand, let us now apply it. Let's proceed to the actual rigging process. See you in the next video. Bye!